is excited to be here tonight. Who has been waiting three and a half years for tonight? Good, 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 good. Well, for those of you I haven't met, my name is Jim Coetz and I work with the guys. And um, it's really exciting to see all of your faces and have you here. And um, when we first started talking about this tour, um, I emailed Judd, I think it was in May, um, so we've been keeping this a secret for a while, but uh, I said, Judd, what do you think about us coming back? We want to host a show at, at the Loft, and he, I think he responded with four words, and it was, reunion show, question mark? Okay. Or, or you know, like, for sure, or something like that. Like, there was no questions asked, we knew this had to be the first stop for us, so thanks for being here. We're really excited. Um, sold out here. We're sold out tomorrow in Zabrota. We're sold out in, in Hopkins on Saturday. And then we're going to head up to Duluth on Sunday. That one's getting full too. So uh, thanks for your support. Um, we have a new album that comes out tomorrow. Does anybody have it yet? Are you liking it? I don't, I don't know if you have it if it doesn't come out until tomorrow. That's, that's poor management. Is what that is. No, check it out. It's, uh, it's been a fun project to work on, and we think you guys are going to love it. Um, so without further ado, please put your hands together and welcome Story Hill. Two. 
it's on
How are you all doing? It's wonderful to see you all. This is so, so great. It feels like yesterday that we were just here. It wasn't, though. A lot has happened. Yeah, and actually, yeah. Did it look this nice last time we were here? Yes, pretty much, yeah. Uh, Yesterday it looked this nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's just, uh, he's, he just yeah, does it nicely. Something else, yeah. yeah. I really like that sort of DNA thing that's hanging <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Double helix? Double helix. Yeah, that's great. The dissected piano is pretty special, too. The room behind there. Did you guys get a chance to check that out? It's like a grand piano all spread out. You should check it out. Is it on yeah. the wall? Yeah. yeah. Straight back there. You can see it there. Yeah. We'll take a break so you can check out the piano. Pass the double helix.
Um, and also from Dovetail, if anyone remembers that album. <laughs> Steam in the air, and the snow lay like. 
curve of the earth, just barely the curve of the earth. From your bed in the trees by the river beneath the red cliff. The last time Chris and I broke up um, <laughs> was like 1997, I guess. And we had a um, final kind of uh, hurrah. We played a show, our last show in our hometown in Bozeman, Montana. And, um, then we camped um, for a couple nights after that. And I wrote this song um, right, uh, right out, like the day after our last show, I think. Um, because when we broke up, we, we broke up in, uh, we, we actually were at Gettysburg. Um, we were touring out east, <laughs> and we were going to go check out Gettysburg, and we were all excited about it, and uh, instead we, we sat and yelled at each other in the car for, <laughs> like, four hours or something. <laughs> we should have uh, then taken on the name Civil War. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody should. <laughs> and, uh, so we, we broke up at Gettysburg, and... And then, um, and then, uh, not really. Your your fiance or your girlfriend, Patina. Yeah. Uh, she kind of kept the peace, I think. No, she went around and walked around Gettysburg. <laughs> she got to see it. Right? Like I'm gonna leave you guys alone here. And um, but so yeah, it was rough. And then then we were we had just an enormous amount of debt because there's not a whole lot of money in folk music. It turns out. <laughs> So we had to play, we had to play 80 shows to, to get ourselves out of debt, and we did. We got, it, the last show got us out of... It was like three months? Yeah. Huh. And, um, sure. yeah. and by the time we were done doing that, it was like once we decided to break up, we were like, why are we doing this now? Because it was super fun. And, <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. There's probably like a, you know, a lot of therapists and stuff, but I understand that stuff really well. Yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should look into that. <laughs> Anyway, we got a song out of our break. Yeah, and technically, it must have been like two or three days after, if we camped for a couple of days. Well, no, I, I think I... Oh, you started writing? Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, it's a song called What Was Wrong, right? Yeah. Was Gone. Yeah. Just, that's the... I can't 
Girlfriend of, of both of ours, actually. And, uh, then realized we already had way too many songs for her, so uh, it took an entirely different path, and it's no longer about me. Or me, really. No. It was Friday, and the stars were shining bright. Was a star. No! 
Last Friday night we climbed up there to the place where she stands. And jumped over the fence and found our way to the forbidden door. And up we climbed through Marion Mountain. And sooner than we thought, we reached the very top. But there was only darkness all around. She had no eyes, you couldn't see the town from Mary on the mountain. We tried so hard to be perfect, we tried so hard to be kind, and she couldn't see nothing for all this time. Maybe my friend, we're just Blind as Mary on the mountain. Thanks a lot. Oh, I know you. Have you been to Mary? Like, yeah. And I climbed up the inside. <laughs> okay. Did you? No. Oh, that's just a lie. That's just not true. But. I mean, can people? I think like the people that like maintain her probably can, no. but I don't think the public can. Like, there's a tour like to go like Statue of Liberty. There's a tour to like the foot of her probably to like, see her foot. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah, we should take up. Jim kind of wants to go out there. Coen's. <laughs> we should all go. We should go out there. It'd yeah. be fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See her foot. <laughs> uh, so the whole part about like she has no eyes. It's just anyway. That, I that's true. Yeah, she has. Like, I mean, she does have cast like, eyes. Representations of eyes. Yeah. I guess, but they can't. They can't see through. Yeah. yeah. You can't go up and see out her eyes. <laughs> Keep going! Watch all the, watch all the, like, the bed them down. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've been singing this song for so long. It's just, yeah, you wonder these things, you know? Every now and then, it's like, what are we singing here? <laughs> Does she sleep? That's a good question. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Mary, there's a little road that goes past her. I want to sing about that. Well, I just left her standing there. Tangled thoughts and tangled hair. Baby blue eyes.
Let's take a short break here, and um, yeah, we'll be right back. So, so. for Jim Coates. Can we just say that right now? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, besides telling us, you know, exactly what the temperature is in, in the room, um, that's been helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Just so, so you know, it started at 70, now it's 73. Yeah. <laughs> and he's also uh, pretty much the brainchild of this whole stages thing, so uh, we go to him for being here tonight. His, his brother Pete, back on sound, uh, is also actually responsible for us being here because he introduced, I don't know what your connection to our music was, Pete, but uh, you introduced uh, Story Hill to Jim, you know, a little while back, right? And he didn't like you guys. He did you know, <laughs> He was more of a Dave Matthews kind of guy. And, uh, still is. <laughs> <laughs> He, 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 he likes us now, I think. Yeah. He actually listened to you, huh? Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, big time of the coeds, brother. <laughs>
your angel like it or not you're stuck with me when I got the assignment guess I thought it would be sleeping bag. That's the heating system in that. Yeah. yeah, it's windy out there too. Yeah, I, I had a Westphalia, a couple of them, but uh, not nearly as cool. M mine was like it's more of a green time box. <laughs> <laughs> but it was yeah, a lot like times. a Kleenex box. And same heating system. <laughs> um, a little bit better. Was it? In the summer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was a sweet ride, and, and maybe you can, you know, I mean, there's like websites where you can go find them again, they're restored, and they're yeah. like souped up with the portions. Yeah. That's what you should do for like 20 grand. <laughs> Save up. <laughs>
<laughs> well, this goes back quite a ways for me. Um, like, my sister lived in Missoula. And she invited me to uh, come visit her for New Year's, and I like I I, I can I literally don't know why. Um, <laughs> I mean, I must not have anything else to do. You know, it's kind of. Well, I guess I love urban stuff, but I mean, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Hang out with you for New Year's. How was it? I never heard how All it was. All I know is I wrote this song. <laughs> it must have been my main focus. <laughs> uh, I must have been going through some, you know, love troubles or something like that. End, end of the year, you know. I guess it's in the what? song, probably. It like, is. We'll, we'll learn. We're about to yeah. Learn. I'm about to read it here. This, this was uh, quite a while ago. I mean, I, I know I could drive, but, <laughs> but I did take a Greyhound. It goes like this. I left town on a Greyhound. Fifty-five dollars on the.
John and I were kind of joking, like, we each, I've had this same pick all year, but not that one. <laughs> Just one pick all year, that's, and it's lasted forever. And, um, Me too, right? Yeah. You've had one? <laughs> What's the problem with having too many of them? <laughs> anyway. Uh, which one is that's good one? to have Jim around. Yeah. Let's have to do that one. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> We've created a lot of hoops for ourselves here. <laughs> our, our younger selves. <laughs> made it difficult for our older selves. <laughs> yeah, plus, I wrote Roman numerals, which I can follow. <laughs> I know, I know what's going on is, is, is this is 
a collaborative song, and, and so I forget that the first words are ones that you wrote. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Huh. I had a dream. It was interesting, this song, because um, it was more of a boom chuck, bluegrassy <laughs> song. Yeah. yeah, and um, I just didn't like it at all. <laughs> we were working with our producer, Dan Wilson, who was awesome. And, um, he, all he did was, um, he was like, Johnny, I think you're gonna like this song. And he just, he sent us a, an MP3 of him singing Kind song. of a Jedi thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the song you're looking for. Um, and, and then he just, he, without saying anything, just sent me a, an MP3 of him singing the song instead of Chris singing the song. Because, like, you know, the, you, everybody brings baggage with, you know, their ears to listen to a thing. Sorry, you know? part of your <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it took that to kind of wake me up to it. Um, it's a really neat. He is a pretty good Yeah. Well, and he, he slowed it way, way down. Yeah. He so. took the boom chuck out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go.
change a thing that I've made And the wind blew across the face Of the waters of the deep, half asleep He came back to take his place I've come full serve, come full serve
chair from a safe distance You may be so close you can taste the blood You may have headed for higher ground You may be drowning in the flood No matter what you do Let 
the brighter day to clear your name. The thing is where you are and where you're going is the same. I haven't seen you in a while. We could hook up somewhere. What's this new wear you have draped about you? Do you know what you're going into? Can you feel the change from inside? You're not the same. You no longer want. What's this new air you breathe from within? It's telling you there's a new place to begin again With the morning's light, you wake up smiling You wake up feeling old Steady on like the honkers that pass through the air. You can hear them coming, and you step out and stare. They're in Chevron. 